Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to show you the next video tutorial of online chatting app in ASP.NET Core with Angular. And in this video tutorial, just I am going to design users controller uh, for uh, the users, uh, for the authenticated user you can say. And just before uh, going to the much more detail about the users controller, first of all, just, just I am going to show you. So first of all, just I am going to add a unit of work and in this interface, so just add a new item and in the item, you can just add a unit of work interface. So just a unit of work, a unit of work interface in the session and you can say that just you can just add I user repository, uh, sorry, I user service. So here we have I user service and here you can just add user service okay so uh, in the I unit of work here we have a I user service where the user service and uh, boolean task of the save now after that implement that unit of work in the services so add a new class and here we go for unit of work okay in the unit of work, just go for this line of code. First of all, unit of work is inherited with the I unit of work and just implement uh, the unit of work with the I unit of work using implement interface. And you just replace that code of line of code from this code. You can say that I mapper is used right here to convert or for the auto mapper and application DB context is also there. So you can say that I user service user service stands to new user service uh, and initialize that context and the mapper and in the boolean with the save context or save changes as sync is greater than zero that return the boolean type true and false. Okay, so everything is saved and now just close all these and just go for in the unit of work that is users controller. So now you can say that uh, in the extension method application service extension just you can add a line of code uh, services services dot add uh, scoped and in the scoped you just add a unit of work unit of work Now this is all. Okay, so everything is fine. Now services dot add scoped i unit of work with the i unit of work. Okay, so now the next one is services dot user service. So i user service user service. Okay, so everything is fine. Now just go for the uh, users controller and now add oops now add this line of code and that is i mapper underscore mapper i photo repository is not there right here so just comment it and i unit of work that is unit of work so just chap service and finally now just want to add right here so Okay, so here we have uh, I mapper and I unit of work uh, uh, inject as a constructor dependency. Now, the rest of the thing you can add photo as well. So just prepare that I photo repository with the photo repository. So just you have to add a new service and new class that is name is I photo repository. So I photo service. Okay, so now just I want to add photos and delete photos. So uh, here we have add photo async with the i from file and the string main id. And what is the main id? I mean to say that in the photos, you can see in the models, and here we have a photo. 
and that is the main id or you can say that uh, uh, photo id that is what uh, it is a manually generated that is the id so that is the main id so i photo service here we have add photo async and delete photo async and here we have a image upload result and delete a deletion result actually that is the cloudinary settings so just i want to use cloudinary to use uh, to save image on the cloud cloudinary package so just add a cloudinary so here we have a image upload result so just use control dot and use cloudinary dot net dot actions and here we have cloud uh, image upload result as, as well as re, uh, deletion result so uh, here we have uh, oops that is interface it's not an actually uh, class so here we have an interface okay so just remove this line of words first of all copy the code i photo service it's actually an interface you can see so just again and add a class and select interface i photo service and here we have now just add okay so everything is fine now in the i photo service here we have just implement that photo service class so photo service inside the photo service so here we have a public class photo service and that is in interface with the i photo service and after that you have to use this line of code to remove the i photo service and here we have three things first one is the constructor that is line of code and here i am using cloudinary so use control dot and use con uh, cloudinary dot net so here we have cloudinary dot net and the next one is the photo service so i options cloudinary settings so i options that is microsoft dot extensions dot options that is i options and cloudinary settings is actually a class so generate type that is cloudinary settings and uh, generate a class cloudinary setting in a new file and you can say that uh, okay so right time you just add in the model section add a new class and here we have cloudinary settings inside the photo service just resolve this by using models so here we have a options cloudinary settings and in the cloudinary settings uh, here we have a class cloudinary settings and where account equals to new account and in which you can add config dot value dot cloud name dot api key and api secrets so first of all add these three uh, things in the cloudinary settings so here we have a cloudinary settings so inside the cloudinary settings just add three things that is cloud name api key and api secrets and you will see that uh, the photo service here we have cloudinary settings here we have a account information with the cloud name api key and api key secrets with using config file okay so by using this line of code cloudinary uh, underscore cloudinary you just add a new cloudinary with their account information in which you can add the cloud name api key and api secrets the next one is a image upload add photo async as well as delete photo async so just remove by using cloudinary dot net dot actions okay so in which you can see i form file result is Im image upload result that is on result just return that result so if file dot length is greater than zero then file dot open read stream and image upload params file and transformation file description is file dot file name i mean to say that in as uh, upload that image in the file stream that is ms that is memory stream or you can say open read stream transformation is the transformation dot height and width is set 500 and 500 and crop fill dot gravity is result is cloudinary dot upload async upload and result will be on that image upload result okay the the next thing is delete photo async so 
by using the man id that is the unique id generated by the user for the photo so here we have and the man id is first of all uh, new delete paramessing uh, params and using main id delete cloudinary dot destroy async by using delete and get the result so deletion result will be there on the result so everything is fine now just go for the users controller so after that uh, we will use that line of code in esp.net core and here we have some uh, thing to add it here one by one i will uh, i will cover all these things in esp.net core so here we have the uh, photo repository that is the photo repository and you can say that iPhoto repository is actually uh, use iPhoto service. Okay, so photo repository right here. Okay, now uh, just go for the unit of work and just add photo repository in the constructor also. So just add a parameter to users controller iPhoto repository photo repository. Okay, the first method is get user. Okay, uh, in the get user, uh, here you can say that uh, here we have a username. So, in the token service, when the account service is used, uh, in the last video, if you have seen, in the account controller, we have a login method. Inside the login method, you can see uh, here we have a username, token, and gender. So, username is just passed. So, now in the users controller here we have a username okay so just username is there now unit of work dot user repository i mean to say that user service okay dot get member and uh, get member you can say uh, user repository where is the user repository i user service get member is there So in the users controller, here we have application user view model. So just resolve this thing first of all, chat application dot view models. And you will see that your problem will be resolved. By username, you just get the username. Okay, get the application user view model for the uh, user uh, by the username. Update user, just I want to update the user by the user uh, by the update application user. And update application user. Uh, field uh, actually get by the application uh, username so user service first of all user service is right here and get username is actually pending user service update user async and mapper dot map member to users so here we have a member and just convert that member to the user by using member um, mapper dot map and you know work dot user service dot get user by name async so get username is actually uh, is a extension method so just resolve and you can say that add a new extension method right here and here we have a uh, two extensions that is application service extension and identity ex service extension now you can add another extension for the i uh, claim principles so add a new extension method that is new class and the class name is claim principle extensions and make it static in the first oops okay so uh, in the first method we will go so the first method is go for the uh, get username and the second method is a user id user id is a type of integer and the username is the type of a string so by using uh, the claim principle this dot claim principle claims 
So user is also a claim principle. So in the users controller, and you can say inside the users controller, user is also a claim principle, you can say. So by using, a, you can just add a extension matter for the claims principle. So just return the string value claims dot find first claims types dot name dot value. Okay. And then similarly for the get user ID claims principle claims into dot parse claims dot find first claims type dot name identifier and for the username you just get the name dot value and here we have for the id names identifier dot value and just convert that into dot parse now here you can say that in the users controller the problem will be resolved by using get username chat app dot extension okay so here we have now just create a new update user uh, update application user and that form will be submitted by the uh, angular form so just make it uh, and uh, you can say that here we have a view model so just add a new view model update application user a new class and make it update application user and here we have users controller right here so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to chatting app and we will there in the next video tutorial thank you very much for watching